This is Victor Campos, and now we're continuing with our e-commerce with WordPress installation. We've got our WordPress downloaded, and it's inside of our WAMP folder. And what we need is to set up a database so that WordPress can properly run. So go back to your web browser, go back to localhost, and you're going to see an item, PHP My Admin. This is where we create the database. So click it. It'll ask you to log in. Log in with username root. R O O T and no password. So just root, no password. Click go. We get a big scary window full of a lot of properties and things to do, but don't worry. All that we need is at the top, we've got databases. So click database. It asks create database. This can be any name here, so we will call it WordPress. click create. Database WordPress has been created. So we were, we're going to use this database on our next video when we install WordPress. Everything that is WordPress will live in this database and a database is just a collection of data. Usernames, graphics, text, etc. So we downloaded WordPress, we put it into the folder we installed WordPress uh, database, and now we're going to connect the two in our next video.